Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Dudej. I am working at SD4 at Adobe, and I know I am extremely late for day 21st January Lead Code Challenge. But guys, I was extremely occupied today. It was a working day for me. We have an important release going on very soon, and it's around the corner. There was not even a single moment that I could have spared uh, not working. And just before I was about to sleep, I thought someone might be waiting for my solution to come up. This is all about building consistency, guys. जो ये नहीं कर पाएगा वो कैसे आगे बढ़ेगा So I thought let's get up and let's solve today's lead code problem, which is restore IP addresses. Here in this question, you are given a string and you need to identify all possible valid IP addresses that could be formed using that string. So I'll be explaining you this question as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Understand the rules of valid IP addresses. When we can say that an IP address happens to be valid, it consists of four separate integers. All the values are within either great. It should be greater than equal to zero, or it should be less than equal to two fifty five. The third constraint says there should be no leading zeros in any of the Four integers that we have. For example, if any of the four integers happens to be this one, zero, one, three, it's not a valid IP address. Similarly, zero, six, eight, zero, zero, seven, two. And what do you need to identify? You need to tell the possible number of valid IP addresses that could be formed by inserting dots into the string. For example, you are given a string one, two, four, seven, t. Let's assume this. And uh, one possibility of answer could be you insert a dot over here you insert a dot over here and you insert a dot over here so the first part would be this one second would be this one third part would be this one fourth would be this one and it's a valid ip address as per all the three constraints so we'll be talking about mode by further examples let's move on to the one that was specified in the question let's hypothetically assume that we have the input string as 2552551135 and the corresponding output should be this one now if you can generate correlation between two sum lead code problem then what do we do we are given at the total sum as t and you, you are given an array and you need to identify all combinations of x plus y that leads to the total sum of t so this is that question and we will be using this same concept over to here so what are we going to do we will try and identify possible values of a a corresponds to my first integer value so let's hypothetically assume you are given a string s and you will be dividing the string into four parts a b c and d so if i ask you guys what could be the maximum length of a the maximum length of a could be 3 the maximum length of b could again be 3 The maximum length of C again would be three, and the maximum length of D again would be three. So, in case my input string happens to be greater than twelve, then no such combination would be ever possible. I hope you understood this because in the worst case, the largest number that could be generated would be this one: two five five two five five two five five two five five. If we have more digits in the input string, then that combination. cannot be converted into any possible ip address moving ahead what we are going to do we'll try to create four integers out of this input string and remember the length of these four integer values would be always less than equal to 3 to start with let's focus our attention on to a and let's consider the case where we are treating a minimum possible value and a minimum possible value would be 2 so let's write a as 2 now the constraint reduces to generating three possible integer values out of the remaining string and since we have taken a is minimum value what we will be doing we will be maximizing the remaining strings that means we will be considering three the lengths of the remaining string as three if it is possible so whether it's possible To con to treat b as five five two, no, it's not possible because it is beyond two fifty five. Therefore, b can only be treated as fifty five. So let's write b like this, and let's again maximize c. So when we maximize c, what do we get? We get two fifty five, and for d we get triple one three five. So is it a valid? IP address? No, it's not a valid IP address because its length is five. 
so in case we consider minimum value of a no valid ip address can be generated that means we have to definitely increase the length of a so let's shoot for the second iteration and let me just change the color of pen this time let's increase the length of a by one unit we get 25 and now this is the minimum possible value for a let's proceed ahead we will be maximizing the rest of the values so what do we have b in the maximum case can be 55 it can be 525 because it is way beyond the valid integer range and let's write 52 over here what remains is 55 triple 135 and we have to distribute two integers between them so the maximum possible value for c is 55 so let's write 55 over here and what remains in the end is triple one three five again it's not a valid ip address so we'll have to ignore this that means we'll again have to increase the value of a let me just change the color of pen and this time a will be considered as 255 and we have to create three integers out of the remaining string and since we have fixed the values of a let's again redo the same thing for the remaining integer values that we have 2 5 5 1 1 1 3 5 and this time we're interested in creating three integer values bc the values for bcd again we are going to do the same thing we'll minimize b and we'll maximize cd so if you will minimize b what do we get we get 2 and from the remaining strings we'll have to generate c and d so the maximum possible value of c would be 55 and d would be 11135 again it becomes invalid so we'll have to ignore this case let's proceed ahead now we will go ahead and increase the value for b and this time we'll consider 25 together the minimum possible value should be 25 since we have minimized b we will maximize the remaining integer values so that we cover the maximum possible length of the input string and the maximum possible value for c would be 51 so let's try 51 over here we can't go beyond 51 because the number would turn into 511 which is not as per the rules the remaining string is 1135 and this again becomes incorrect so what we should be doing we should be increasing the length of b and this time the b turns into 255 a also turns into 255 what remains is so this is gone this is gone what remains is triple one three five and let's minimize the value for c what is remaining for d one one three five one one three five so what we are going to do we will check whether it's as per the valid rules of ip address it's not again it, we have to ignore this up we'll maximize the value we have to increase the value of c so the value of c gets increased to 11 and what remains as d is 135 as you can see this forms a valid permutation for an ip address which is part of our expectation as well do we have any other possibility yes we have another possibility if we increase the length of c by one more unit so let's write that possibility as well 255.255.111.35 and this becomes our second possibility and this is in sync with our expectation these should be the only two possible valid ip addresses that could be formed and this is what we are going to do in the question as well we are going to play around the lens of a b c d as per the constraint specified in the question and to conclude the algorithm further let's walk through a different example here we have 0 1 1 2 5 5 2 4 5 and uh, let's consider the minimum value of a which is 0 so a corresponds to 0 what we are going to do we'll ma maximize the rest so the maximum value for b would be 112 next would be 55 five, and next would be 245 so a is 0 b is 112 c is 55 
next is 245 do we have any other possibility as well let's check that and the other possibility could be 0 1 1 next could be 255 five. next could be 245 so this time b corresponds to 11 instead of 112 and this is the second possibility of answer is there any other possibility of answer that could exist no there is no other possibility of answer you can try more permutations for yourself but my intent to specify this example is that you cannot consider the case where 0 1 is clubbed as part of a because as per the question there should be no leading zeros in any of a b c or d so my intent was that all combinations where 0 1 are clubbed together should never be considered as part of a valid IP address and this is what we should also take care while devising the algorithm to conclude it up let's quickly walk through the coding section and let's have a look at the code we are going to use the principle of lengths for a b c d and to sum from the previous knowledge that we have here i have created the list of strings that will actually store my answer moving ahead i have created and stored the length of the input string in a variable len what do we do i have created three for loops and fourth length would be automatically computed how we will get to know so let's walk through each loop and as i told in the presentation the minimum length of a would be one and the maximum length of a could be three and that's why we have written three loops one for a length other one for b length and other one for c length and in the last we have computed the possible length of d and it would be nothing but the input length minus a length minus b length minus c length this is the principle of two sum and we have solved plenty of questions as i told in the past on this and i can attach the video links as well if you want further we check whether d length variable is less than equal to 3 or and it's greater than 0 if that is the case that means d length value is valid moving ahead we extract uh, the value of a we extract the value of b we extract the value of c using substring helper method of java and we use for a the range between 0 to a length for b a length to a length plus b length for c a length b a length plus b length comma a length b length c length and for d a length b length c length d up comma till the end of the input string so if we don't specify that means it goes up till the end and once we are extracted a b c d what do we check we check whether those numbers are within limits it's less than equal to 255 if it is then we go ahead and create the new string another important aspect that we should be checking that whether the string that we have built happens to be equal to len plus 3 or not if it is not that means in any of the one portion a b c or d there is a leading zero and this is a very important case if this condition is met then we add the input the ip string to our result and for we reinitialize it for the next iteration that are happening in the end we simply return the result i hope i made sense to you guys and i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question and goodbye